All right, today we're gonna to do a quick little how-to on doing a overhead on a CM2350 ISX. So I'm gonna start ripping this thing apart and uh, I'll show you what you gotta do. All right, with the uh, EGR crossover off and the air box out of the way, now you can get to all the bolts in your valve cover. So you got a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts around the outside edge, and you got the one breather hose right there. So pop them off, and then you can get down to the, all the rockers. All right, once you get the valve cover off, this is what you're gonna see right here. You've got your intake rocker. That's always gonna be the long lever. Right there, you've got your exhaust rocker. That's gonna be your short one. And this one here is gonna be your Jake. So when you pull the valve cover off, just make sure to clean out all the stuff from around the side so it doesn't drop into the engine. Just to keep everything clean. Here's your specs that you have. And I'll show you where the A, B, and C come from. They're uh, positions on your balancer. And you're gonna rotate the engine over to uh, A, B, or C, and you'll start. A will be for cylinder one, cylinder six, B for two and five, and C for three and four. And you're gonna adjust all three rockers on the same cylinder at the same time. So I'll show you what you gotta do for that. Down here, you're going to see this mark right here. And there is marks on the balancer that are A, B, and C that you're going to line up with that. And to rotate the engine over, you're going to pull this plug out here. And you're going to take a three-quarter ratchet along with a four-inch extension, and you're going to stick that right in there. To interface with the air compressor and that's how we're going to rotate the engine over all right now we got our ratchet set up in here and we're going to rotate this around it's going to be a little stiff and you can see coming right up there there's mark a so we're going to start with that one and get it lined up right there so get the right perspective on it focus there we go got a lined up with the mark So we're going to come back up here and we're going to see whether the rockers are loose on number one or number six. And it looks like that one's tight. <clears throat> if we come back here, we got that one's loose. That one's loose. So, so we're going to start with this one. All right, with the balancer on position A, you're going to check your rockers on cylinder one and cylinder six and go to whichever one has both the intake and exhaust rocker loose. And then you'll start your adjustment on there. So I always start with the intake. You're going to loosen up your jam nut. Back it off a little bit. And then you're going to take your six millimeter Allen wrench and your 14 thousandths feeler gauge. And you're going to stick it underneath the cup between the crossbar there. And you're going to tighten it up just until you can start feeling drag on it. Just a little bit of drag. And then you're going to hold your Allen 
then take your torque wrench and torque it back down with your crow's foot to 33 foot pounds. And you should still just have just a little bit of drag on there. And then that one's done. And the next thing, go to your exhaust, do the same thing. Loosen your jam nut up. Take the seven or the six millimeter Allen. And then on this one, you're gonna get 27 thousandths. So I just stack a 13 and a 14 thousandths together. Back it off, pick it up. Stick it under. Do the same thing, tighten it up till you feel drag. Right about there. Hold it steady, tighten to 33 foot pounds. Just a little bit of drag, and then that one's done. And then next one is your Jake Rocker. So you're gonna push it all the way back like this so it's against the cam. This is its running position. You'll see there's a detent that it sits in and it should always go back into that detent. If it doesn't, then you're gonna have to take the rocker rail off and check to see if there's any damage to the detent that's in the rocker shaft itself. So push it all the way back against cam. You're gonna loosen, loosen up the jam nut. And then you're gonna take your seven millimeter and you're gonna stick it down underneath and do the same thing as the valves. Tighten it down, do you feel a drag? show you what you should look in there but you just want just a little bit of drag to be able to wiggle it and move it around in there And then tighten your jam nut to 177 inch pounds. And pull it out. And then you want to make sure that you still sit in the detent. And then the next clearance you can check there is your Jake Rocker running clearance. which would be 25 to 110 thousandths. So you can take your 27 thousandths feeler gauge, make sure that it fits under there. Then you can go up bigger to make sure that it's not too big at 110. And you just stack a bunch together so it equals 110. And if you can't fit that one in there, then you'll know you're good. You're not too high, you're not too low. But it should just be like that. And then you go to position B on the balancer, and then you'll either do cylinder two or cylinder five, whichever one the rockers are loose on. All right, now we're at the point that uh, we've gone through A, B, and C twice. We've done all six cylinders. And uh, now before you button everything back up, just go through, check your injector wiring, check your 
wiring to your Jake Rocker solenoids and uh, just make sure everything's good that you don't have any uh, tools or trash or anything laying down in there and then I always go through one more time and check every single nut that I took off make sure that you're at the 33 foot pounds on the uh, the valve rockers and 177 inch pounds on all of the Jake rockers and then uh, clean up your gasket surface if your uh, valve cover gasket's still in good shape you can reuse it if not throw a new one on um, but uh, clean everything up button it back up and uh, start it and should be good to go